We are going to build AI persona chatbot of Alex her most applications for AI automation agency are endless. You can sell it to coaches, consultants, law firms, e-learning platforms, anyone that has a knowledge to transfer and cannot be there. For example, sales managers, everyone wants an AI personality clone. The possibilities are endless. I have downloaded 209 podcasts, 231 YouTube videos, 38 long form interviews, talks, the entire $100 million offers book. I will show you how to transcribe up to 45,000 minutes of audio for free. And the best part, no coding required at all. First, let's download podcast and then go to YouTube videos. We'll be using Google Podcasts for this. Got to search and pull up the podcast you need. I've already got mine pulled up here. Once you're on the podcast page, you need to right click and hit inspect. Once you're in, click on network and then media. Let's play the clip. You'll spot the mp3 file in the media tab. All you need to do is open that file in the new tab and then download it. That's it. Using this technique, I have downloaded over 200 podcasts. Once the audio is downloaded, let's go to deepgram.com. You've got to sign up and you'll get $200 in credit and that equates to 45,000 minutes of free audio transcription. Once you're in the dashboard, click on demo transcribe pre-recorded files. There's you'll see an option to upload an audio file and keep in mind your file size needs to be under 2 GB. Add the audio file. Boom. It took me less than 20 seconds. You can transcribe a three hour audio in less than 60 seconds. It's that fast. Now copy your transcript and paste it in the text file. Next up, we'll discuss downloading YouTube transcripts. Here you will see a space for the URL. Go to YouTube, copy the link you need a transcript for, paste it here and submit. You can copy your transcript, done. For a book, well, it's already in the text format. Moving on, you're all set. You have everything you need on the side of data. For this segment, we'll be using Stack AI. If you haven't signed up, do so. I already have mine. So I'll go to the rash. You can use the free version for this demo. Let's create a new project. We begin with two nodes, input and output. However, we need an LLM. For this demo, we'll be using OpenAI. And for the model, let's pick GPT 3.5 Turbo with 16K context window. Next, we are going to load our documents using data loaders. Since our data is text, I'll opt for PDF data loader. And it is compatible with so many formats as you can see our data has to be stored somewhere which is where databases come in i'm selecting a basic database the input connects to llm model and vector database document loader to vector database output from the vector database should go to llm model llm to output with that, our initial setup is complete. Let's go over some final settings to make our chatbot functional. Document loaders. Chunks are necessary because documents are so large and the LLMs need to digest the data in smaller pieces. And overlap meaning two chunks share a portion of the space all of these chunks are stored in vector database, right? The settings here define OpenAI text embeddings and result length in terms of tokens. 
depending on chatbot that you're building you can set the number of tokens whether it's generate a lengthy articles or was it whether it's depending on your app you set the result like the embeddings api key can be your own or you can let stack ai bill you at the end of the month if you wish to get your own, I'll paste the link to OpenAI API in the description below. In the LLM model, there is a system message. This is essentially a prompt template, kind of whispering instructions into AI's ear. This message is not seen by the user. For this example, I'll use a role prompt. Assume the persona of Alex Hermosi, a business expert. Basically, I'm setting the role and i'm asking ai to use the knowledge base as the context be concise and direct don't be don't refer alex in third person don't say he use i instead now i won't be using all the documents that i have tra been transcribing and collecting because that would be too much so i'm going to use 100 million dollar offers as an example you have to buy this book. Next, we have to set the prompt itself. First, let's specify context. Context will be the knowledge base. Then we use user input as a question. And the answer will be provided by a GPT model. For LLM settings, the temperature controls the randomness. I'm setting it zero so it won't be creative. It would be deterministic and straightforward. Again, for the API key, you can use it your own or let's stay stack KI below. Finally, we have the output. Let's ask a question. What is a grand slam offer? And hit play. Give the model a few seconds to process the context and question. There you have the answer. This is from the book, $100 million Office. Now let's quickly deploy this model. If you want to export the UI, this feature is available, is not available on free version. You can either get a seven day trial or still ask questions in the input section and get answers in the output. Let's export the UI and I will show you how that interface looks. For the interface type, I'm selecting chat. You can name it whatever you want. Give your flow a name. I'm calling it AI Harmozi. You can set an icon, messages. There is a lot of room for customization. Once it's all set, you let's use this URL. Ask your AI question. Hi, Alex. How do I pick an industry? We have an answer definitely looks different from the standard responses that you would get from um, chat gpt let's test one more time what are your thoughts on the agency model a concise and direct response perfect as you start refining your prompts and expanding your database with relevant data you can create some of the most impressive ai persona chatbots this could be a valuable asset to your clients they can sell this as a lower ticket item to the clients that are not able to afford their more high ticket services this would be a game changer for their business as promised for the bonus if you want to level up this powerful yet basic stack ai bot Learn how to integrate it with WordPress and Zapier. To do that, watch this tutorial and I will share a template with on how to integrate WordPress, Zapier and Stack AI. I'll see you there.